Hey everyone, I'm Tourmaline, and today we're gonna look at this these Creatology Spiky Silicone Tubes. They were on clearance at Michael's, 99 cents, and well, you see some, some stuff here already. Already recorded a good chunk of this footage. My camera was apparently only recording in one minute and 30 second or two second intervals. Now it's giving us 22 minutes, still a bit less than normal, but I'm going to take it. So here we are. You, if you open up the box, you get, get a tube of silicone. I have green and pink here. There are other colors, but I didn't have that many color options. You get a little silicone tip, or piping tip, and instructions. So, so anyway, have this one open up, have the tip on. Wanted to see what would happen if I piped without cutting it down, and I just got this little dot. So I'm gonna do it again. But that doesn't make for the spike effect. So, I'm going to try cutting this. And per instruction, and see what happens. These spike things were really popular. Oh, that still did not work at all. Were really popular when I was younger, and I think they've kind of saw a resurgence of popularity. They're just like those little spikes that come on bracelets, earrings, necklaces, chokers, all of that. Anyway, now I find out why this isn't working. Maybe I'm just doing it wrong. Okay, cut it a little more. Maybe you're supposed to just do tiny little dots and make your own spike? I might have to research this a little. Let's try the pink. Without adding the silicone tip, I already punctured a hole. This was supposed to be a more professional video than my last. Eh, ruined that a little bit. Okay, kind of hard to squeeze. But if I left it this tiny, I could do like little, little tiny things, which could be interesting. I'll be right back. All right, so I think I had a total misunderstanding of this product. The more pictures I look at, the more it just looks like you get these little things and the spike is this little tiny piece that spans up. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that. Just that little piece on the end. So this is acting exactly as it's supposed to act. We're gonna make something cool out of it anyway. Uh, what you missed on the last and what I totally destroyed in opening is these uh, little plastic storage containers that I got from the Dollar Tree. I wanted to keep with the dollar theme since these silicone tubes were 99 cents each. So I got all these little plastic jars. All right, so I'm just gonna go for it and we're gonna see if we can make something cool. Let's use green for this lid. Maybe I'll do the lid while it's attached on this one and do the body of another one and kind of combine them together. I think that might be easiest to kind of judge the size. So let's shift the frame a bit. Oh, uh, some weird shadows, but that's how we're going. That's how we roll here, apparently. All right, here goes. It's uh, sort of looking, sort of, sort of looking uh, spike-like, grass-like. I'm gonna time lapse this a little bit for you so you don't have to deal with this uh, probably pretty boring application right here. It's 
kind of cream. <sighs> Okay, lid's sort of done. As you may have sort of noticed, I was kind of squeezing it out then popping it up real quick to try to make those spikes stand up as much as they could. Um, there's still a lot of kind of missed spots because the tube was just too thick for me to get them all right next to each other without getting goop all over the tip. So I think I'm gonna let that dry and then kind of go back over it. But it's a sort of cool, like grassy aesthetic. So now I'm wondering, if I drag the tip in different ways, what kind of look it will give. Some little ridges in there, but just pretty much a solid pink line. Nothing too exciting there. So maybe I'll alternate that with spikes. This one's a little messier, like a little wetter than the green. See, um, I don't think my tip's really shorter. I see some kind of just fell over right there. Oh gosh. Okay, I said this is more liquid, but I can literally barely squeeze it. Just put some blue tape on it so that it will kind of stick to the table while I'm piping this. Here it goes. <laughs> so I cut this down super short now. We're gonna see what happens. It does not come out any easier. The spikes aren't much of a different size. A little bigger. Ooh. It's gonna look ridiculously awful. But I mean, the spikes look kind of better. Sort of. Oh, this stuff smells really bad too. Well, isn't that, uh, something? Alright, so, I also got these, uh, butterfly gems. Didn't know whether I was going to use them or not, but... Looking okay, looking okay. Let's uh, add some more, fill in those little gaps. It's not like dry per se, it's not like sticky either. I've perfected my technique. Oh gosh. Which means what? Okay, so it looks kind of crap from the top. From the side, it looks a lot like grass. Which may or may not be what you want at all. Final thoughts. Uh, it's silicone, it's cheap, 
The color's nice. Really, really hard to pipe. Doesn't actually make spikes unless you work for it pretty hard. And, uh, did I already say it's really hard to pipe? Yeah, my hand kind of hurts. Um, marketed to kids, gonna be hard for them to pipe for sure. And it smells really bad. But yeah, so I, I get why this went on clearance. Now, if you're into silicone, if you're into decoden, if you're into piping, decorating of any kind, if you can find this at Michael's, get it. Because you could always completely squeeze it out of this tube, mix it together into piping cream bags. It might be a lot of trouble, but if you think it'd be worth it, go for it. They're 99 cents each, or five for four dollars, I think. So, could be worth it. All right, I'll be back. So here's the final product, and it turned out pretty good. The butterflies are stuck on really well. The silicone dried nicely. Um, it's very flexible as it should be. The color stayed. Um, the cap and base do come off very well. Uh, it's not the prettiest project I've ever made, but the silicone worked nonetheless. Creatology spikies for Decoden, will it work? I'd say yes. So that's that. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know if you've ever used Creatology Spikies in a comment below, and make sure to hit that subscribe button.